Okay, this is the depressing yeah. section. All right. <laughs> Loans, payments, credit cards, and mortgages. All right. The first thing you need to do is you need to copy down the formula. Um, <sighs> well, how do I... Girl. There we go. Okay, y'all know what the principle is. That's yeah, what the money that's being loaned. Okay, that's like if I loan you five thousand dollars. In this case, the the loan is five thousand dollars. Okay, uh, installment loan is the loan that is paid off. That's at the end. So if you okay. buy a car, it's five thousand dollars or ten thousand dollars or whatever. And you pay five thousand dollars down, and you borrow five thousand dollars. Then whatever the end of that loan, whatever the interest and everything, that's the installment loan. Loan term is the time you have to pay back. There it is. Now, there's only one thing that I do different here, and I'll let you write that down, and then I'll show you what I do different because I don't like that negative exponent. So I basically put that whole thing over one and then flip it. So I'll show you what I mean by that in just a second. Well, I'll go ahead and write it. Now remember, APR is R, little r, and that big Y is T. Now again, this is really not rocket science. This is basically how you use your calculator. And I would highly suggest using the stow button on the numerator and the denominator. That's the way I do it. Now I'm going to come off of this right quick and show you what I do different and then I'll put it back on the board for those who didn't finish there it is that's what I do different instead of having the negative exponent I put that part over one and then flip it upside down and I get a positive NT power so when I do the problems, I'm going to be using this. You can use whichever one you want, but as far as instruction, see the difference not big not a big deal it's just that some people mess up that negative exponent when they put it in their calculator and it causes problems so I just do away with it what's up with y'all's screen over there connection not established oh, here we go it's coming back maybe I swear y'all got all kind of gremlins up there and easily <laughs> yeah, I know. good gosh Okay, so everybody got that written down. Now, this is a very, 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 very important uh, formula for you to keep in your head, keep it in your wallet. Well, the reason is, 
if you ever buy something like a house, a condo, a car, or you need to pay off your credit card or a loan, this is what they're going to be using. Okay? And you need to, you know, if you, let's say you look at a car and you think you want to buy it, but you want to go home and think about it. This is what you need to think about it with. Okay? Um, next to uh, compound interest, this is probably one of the most valuable formulas to keep around. Okay? So if I was you, I would probably keep it somewhere that you, like in your checkbook or something, and put it on an index card and slide it in the cover of your checkbook or something because it's very important, especially since, you know, you're at the age where you're either buying a car or you're buying a house or you trying to get all the credit cards you can, which I wouldn't suggest, but that's what usually goes on with college students, but I'm not going to say anything. Anyway, so that's that. And there's the formula. So let's look and see what they got for us. Uh, let's see. Early in the long term, they're just talking here. Okay, here we go. Write this one down. Suppose you have a student loan totaling. Is that right? <laughs> Please stop sneezing in class. Totaling. Is totaling right? No. That's not a word. That don't look right. <laughs> you ever see a word and it just don't look right? What do you think, Zach? Um, I I'm not sure. I swear it's supposed to have two L's in it, but I may be wrong. I don't think it's the word. <laughs> totally? You don't think totally? No. Right? Something don't look right with that word. Not right either. Am I am I wrong or does it look I'm, right? I'm I'm Googling it right now. Okay, good job. You could put suppose you have a loan. With the loan that totals. Total. Yeah, total. Seventy five hundred dollars when you graduate from college. The interest is nine percent and the loan term is ten years. What are your monthly it's, payments? It's correct. That's correct. It sure don't look right. <laughs> Looks like it's missing something. Hmm? Yeah, probably. Totaling. Totaling. Total. Yeah, and they drop the G. That's it. Total. <laughs> so, what is the monthly payment? Now, this is the this is the where you're going to find out your monthly payment. But the depressing part is after you find out your monthly payment. That's the depressing part, and you'll find out what I'm talking about here in just a minute. So here, our principal is equal to 7,500, and our R is equal to 0 0.09, and our T is equal to 10, and N is equal to 12. Put a star beside N is equal to 12. Unless otherwise specified, what do we as low class rednecks what do we what as far as payments when we say payment what do we what do we think of monthly payments okay you don't go to a car lot and say yes i'd like to set this up on quarterly payments nobody does that nobody walks into a car lot and say i'd like to set this up on semi-annual payments 99% of the time, N is going to be 12 when you're talking about a loan or a mortgage or a credit card or whatever the case may be. Okay? And now you just plug and chug. Plugging is easy. 7,500 times 0 0.09 over 12. One minus one over one plus point zero nine over twelve. All that second part 
is raised to the 12 times 10, which is 120 payments. Now, the part that comes up next. What's that 120 payments? How you do? You just did the times 10 times n, okay. n times t. Okay. Pay attention now. Mm. All right, get your calculators out because now it's such a calculator drill. That's all it is. So you take your handy dandy calculator. <sighs> okay, you sneeze. Now you quit yawning. You're gonna give me a complex. I'm gonna have to go out and put smokestacks on my truck. <laughs> Because I don't feel good about myself. And I'll just call the shop. Yeah, go ahead and put 10 foot smokestacks on that truck. I heard a truck, a pickup truck in Anderson going down the road the other day. Smaller than my truck. Had a jake brake on, on the engine. You don't know what a jake brake is? On the big semi trucks when they're when they're approaching a town they hit the jake brake on the floors you know where the dimmer switch used to be on a is that kind of like jb jake brakes something like that no. well it's called jake brakes yeah and what it does is it makes the engine slow the truck down and it, it sounds like oh okay I like a big truck yeah that's how i know that big that's the jake brake oh. they're on big trucks because it's 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 easier on the brakes if the engine slows. It's kind of like gearing down your car. Gotcha. Well, a chocolate. there's a piece of, there's a, there is a pickup truck in Anderson that has a Jake brake on it. <laughs> it's Zach. That's and who it is. Zach's got it. Zach's concentrating. He's not even listening. He's ignoring me. I can hear you. I can hear you. I'm just not acknowledging you. <laughs> All right. So here we go. Point zero nine divided by 12 equals times 7,500. And that's equal to your numerator. So I'm going to stow. Alpha N for numerator. Enter. And that's fifty six point two five. All right, I did the numerator for you. Y'all do the denominator. <coughs> What do you do first? Well, just like your compound interest, you start right here and you start with the decimal and then you add the one and then you one divided by and how you do it on the calculator depends on, you know, how easy the problem is. So watch what I do. Point zero 0.09 divided by 12. equals, then I'm going to add that to 1. Now watch what I do here. I take 1 divided by second answer, which is the negative sign down there beside enter, and hit enter. So that's going to be 1 divided by 1.05, which is going to be a decimal. There it is. I'm going to raise that, hit the caret symbol, to 120, enter, and then 1 minus second answer, enter. I minus the 1 already. Oh, that was dividing. Yeah, dividing. And there is your, your denominator. Point five nine two one dot dot dot. Point five nine two zero dot dot dot. And now I'm going to stow that in alpha D. And now I'm ready to take my numerator 
alpha n divided by alpha d. <clears throat> and that's equal to a monthly payment of $95 and one cent. One cent. Pay attention. Now, you ready for the depressing part? Yeah. Okay, that's your monthly payment. Now, remember, you got 120 payments right here. Times it. Yep. So I'm going to take my $95.01. I'm paying 11401 And you multiply it. Dang gum, you smart. Mm -hmm. Times 120. Mm -hmm. And what does that come out to be? 11401 $11,401.02. 11 Subtract. Now that's how much you paid at the end of 120 months. So, you paid $11,401.02 to borrow. They kept about $4,000. They fourteen fourteen hundred dollars to borrow ten thousand. How much was it? Ten thousand dollars. Oh, seventy five hundred. Okay, I'm sorry. I thought it was ten thousand. Seventy five hundred. Oh, you paid them some four thousand. Just to lend you borrow some money. I need to go let folks borrow some money then. No, you're supposed to do that simple interest. <laughs> now, why is that depressing, Zach? Because you overpay. Well, no, you just, usually people just don't think about that. Do you just engage 4000 to somebody for just letting you? Wait till we get to the used cars and the credit cards, because this is good interest. This is 9% interest. That's fairly decent. You need one of the interest on my car. Oh, my God. We won't talk about it. No, we. I don't even want to go to it. When that part comes, I'm not even going to be here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now the good thing about this is that's it for this section. As long as you can, use, as long as you can do this formula, you're good to go because that's all I'm going to ask you on the test. And I'm, and this is going to make up a large part of the test because this is so important for people to know, especially when we get to the car because you know how the used car salesman is just. I just love you to death. Uh, you're my friend. Oh. So I got a question though. He's driving that, driving that stake deeper in your back is what he's doing. So, yes. So the same thing when they say same as cash, like if you you can pay same as cash, what that mean? That's what, that's. Same as cash means a dollar for a dollar. <laughs> but what happens with a credit card? Uh, the, when they say a credit card like that, they say, Zach, I'm gonna give you this credit card and it's zero percent. That means I'm not gonna charge you any interest. And he carries that card around for six months, and he doesn't get charged one single thing. But then an emergency comes up, he has to pay for a new transmission, and he takes $1,500 for a new transmission, and he swipes it on that card. Boom! What happens? It goes from 0%. As soon as he swipes that card, it goes from 0% to 19%. Mm. And I guarantee you people didn't know that. Wait till we get to one of those. <laughs> okay, there's the. There's all that. I hope we got that right. Credit cards. Now we're going to talk about credit cards because they're a scam. All right, mm -hmm. here we go. And this is about right. 21% is about right. 19 to 21% is what you're talking about, unless you get a good credit card from your bank. Now, that's the difference between a credit card that's legitimate and one of these that comes in the mail. The ones that come in the mail, throw them away. Don't even open them. Suppose you have a credit card balance of $2,300 with an annual interest rate. $2,300 is, is nothing. People have $10,000 on their credit card. Mm. With an annual interest rate of 21%, you, 
you decide to pay off the balance over a year, that's bull crap because people don't pay them off over a year because they can. How much will you need to make to pay each month? Assume you will make no further credit purchases. So this one's going to be fairly decent because you're going to pay it off in a year. But that's not what they want you to do, do they? No. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and crank this one out. So here, your P is equal to 2300. Your R is 0 0.21. Your N is 12. Again, a star there because that N is going to be 12 no matter what. And your T is equal to 1 because you want to pay it off in one year. But we're going to change that. We're going to change it to five years here in a second. So your payment is going to be equal to 2300.21 over 12, 1 minus 1 over 1 plus 0.21 over 12 raised to the 1 times 12, which is 12th power. I'll go ahead and do the numerator, 2300. Uh, Thank you. She's allergic to somebody. She ain't allergic to me. She must be allergic to you, Miss Smith. <laughs> Divided by 12. I got for the numerator, I got 40.25. Stow. Alpha N. Point two one divided by twelve plus one. I got one point one zero one seven five on the bottom, so I'm gonna take one divided by second answer, and that gives me 0.9828, and then I'm going to say 1 minus second answer, and on the bottom I get a denominator of that. So, stow. You're not going to raise it to a 12 power? Oh, shoot. Thank you, ma'am. Sorry. Messed that up. 0 0.21 divided by 12. Enter. Plus 1. Enter 1 divided by, no, I just almost did it again. Hold on. Clear, no, not delete. There we go. Inverse answer raised to the 12th power. Is that what you get? 1.23? Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. And then 1 divided by second answer is that. And then 1 minus second answer. The denominator I get 0.1879. Stow alpha D. Enter. Clear. Alpha N divided by alpha D. And I get a monthly payment of 214.16. Mm -hmm. And of course, that's the answer. Now, part B, this is part A. Part B is I'm going to multiply that by 12 because there's 12 payments. 25, 60. Good. 
times 12. 2569 How do you get I rounded. So for that $2,300, you basically gave them $300 out of your pocket, or 269 or whatever it comes out to be. Now, do it in five years. And this is where you're going to see how they make their money. Do it at five years. Instead of T is equal to one, let's say it takes you five years to pay that sucker off. Let's, let's go back to real world. That's it. going to change the denominator, correct? Mm -hmm. So, 0 0.21 divided by 12 plus 1. And what's 5 times 12? 60. 60. Raise it to the 60th power. And then divide that by 1, or 1 divided by that. I get that. And then 1 minus, I get that. So that's Sto Alpha D. Alpha N divided by Alpha D, $62. So at five years, golly, what'd that do to the payment? It decreased it because we love you. <laughs> So at n is equal to 5, I mean, I'm sorry, at t is equal to 5, you pay $62.23 a month. Now, multiply that by how many payments? 60. And tell me what you get. $3,733.86. So instead of paying the credit card company $269, what'd you pay them now? 37 cents? 37.33. Okay, well, you got to subtract the $2,300. What'd you pay them? 1,033. 1,000 what? 433. Point. 36. At. Five years. Mm. And how much do two hundred and sixty nine dollars and ninety four cent? That's not bad interest though. Yeah, it is. It is. At one year. So it is bad. Interest. What are you paying for? No, you are paying for something. Somebody tell me what you're paying for. They profit. They profit. No, you're. They're making a better, better profit. But they're making a better profit because you want a what? To me. What? No. What is this? This right here is two hundred and fourteen dollars a month. Yeah, this right here is what? Sixty-two dollars. Oh, and it's gonna sound a whole bunch of lot better than that one fourteen. 
Exactly. You want to lower what? The payment. The payment. You see the cat. You see the catch. What do, what does a car salesman say to you? First thing you walk on the what, what do they say to you after you say you want to buy a car? What do they say? How much can you afford per month? What kind of payment you want? Yeah. Why? But they really don't care about your payment. To me, to me, they care about more than damn payment because they put you in a car they know you can't afford. Uh oh! What just happened? It's a scary movie. <laughs> okay, did y'all just see that? Y'all just like disappeared. Our thing popped up. It said a network or server issue is temporary limiting features. I don't know if that has anything to do with. Listen, y'all just went, both of y'all went dead at the same time. It must have been us. It must have been Anderson campus because oh, y'all both it, went. Whoosh, and it, Hannah is, is doing is from home. So. Weird to see. It <laughs> said you left the meeting, and then, but you didn't. <laughs> Oh, well. I don't know. <laughs> it ain't easily this time. I think that was Anderson. Okay, so let's get back to what we're talking about. Do they really care about you? No. Or do they want Money. you, what you going to say, let's say Zach goes up on used car lot and he says, I can afford 300 a month for a car. Well, Zach, you're my friend and I love you, so I want to get you down to 200. How's that sound? Now, what are they doing? They're doing two things. What are they doing? They're trying to appeal to your emotion. or like Exactly. They're, they're, they're begging you for one you. thing. They're, yeah. they're saying they didn't get you down $100 because you're, you're his friend. But is that true? No. What is he really doing? He's really just trying to make you pay more money. Exactly. There you go. Two things. He's baiting you, and then, because you're ignorant, because you don't know this stuff, you're paying more interest because it's going to set you up for a longer period. There's your bait. So, when you're dealing with a mortgage or a car payment or whatever, do you want to pay it off as soon as possible? Yes. Or do you want to prolong it? Yes. You want to pay it off as soon as possible. So, if they say, you know, Zach, I like you, and I want to make that payment low as possible, but we're going to make it for five years. <laughs> You'd be like, no, make it two years. Well, that'll blow yeah. their mind. But <coughs> who's, who's winning with the two years? You are as a consumer. Aren't you glad you learned this in high school? Mm -hmm. Why didn't they teach you this in high school? They want you to waste your money. Basically, the more <laughs> ignorant you are, the more easy to control. Yeah. And I think that's for our government, not just, mm, I'm not going to say anything. It's Keep true. you on the plantation. All right. That's, that's why they don't, that's why they don't enforce this type of thing don't. in high school. Yeah. The more stupid you are when you get out of high school, the better. That's what right. they get out of everything. Mm-hmm. All right. So let's move to another problem. Oh, what else is there on a credit card? One, your interest. What else is there? That's one thing they charge you. What if you're a day late with a payment? Oh, they had. They had people. Late fee. Mm -hmm. What else? Card, like if you use a debit card, half the mm -hmm. places charge you for that. Over the limit. My, my car payment costs me like seven dollars every time I make car payment just because I'm using a debit card. Mm -hmm. What? Mm -hmm. And how inconvenient is to, to get the money, you know what I'm saying? Get a money order and send it through the mail. Why you don't do that? Girl, because you have to pay it early, first of all. She's one of those places that are yellow and pink and say, No, she's she going through a loan shark. Yeah, I am for real. Where you get your car? Kind of easily. No, oh, I, I, I take that 30 minute drive. <laughs> Uh uh. No, 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 no. It's the bank. Yeah. My, my, yeah, when once they have the bank the car. Yeah. They they just sell the car, but the bank got it, but it's in um, Somebody tell me what a late fee is now. Fourteen dollars. On a credit card. Oh no. I think it's like thirty 35. bucks. Thirty five. Thirty five bucks. Not late. Thirty five bucks. 
What is the over the limit fee? Anybody know? I remember when it was around 25. What does that mean you spent over what they gave you? Mm hmm. Mm. Y'all live on the edge. <laughs> I ain't. I don't fool with them no more. I don't fool with them no more because they're a joke. Mm -hmm. Now, if you get a credit card, always remember to go through your bank. Okay? Use your ATM card or your debit card through your bank whenever you can and not, not get charged. Okay? Now, a way to get by with the charges is to set up auto pay. I do that on all my bills. On my cell phone bill, on my uh, house payment, on my electrical payment, on my water payment, everything. That way, I don't have shit turned off. Sorry about that. And you ain't got to call in. And the, reason, and the reason I say that with that bad word is I come home. This is one of the reasons I'm single now. Uh, we came home from vacation one time, and the power and the water was turned off. Jeez. Now, do you know how long it takes to turn the water and the power off? Like two, three like it takes two to three months. <laughs> yeah, like two and a half months. That's why I'm saying it's one of the reasons I'm single. Oh, I, she I don't know. Irresponsible like that? Yeah. She wrong for that. Yeah. And didn't have a job. Somebody have to kill her. Hang. Hey. All she, she had to do was make the pay. She probably wouldn't buy her new outfit. No, she, she, she squandered it on... on Gambling. Junk, junk, and kids. The kids, which that's that's a that's kind of mismanaging money. And she also another thing she would do when a bill come, she wouldn't pay it. She'd throw it in the trash can. Oh no. She's one of those people. You ever you ever met somebody like that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm serious. I've met people like that. It doesn't go away. Just put yeah, it does. Just <laughs> you put it in the trash can, it goes away. <laughs> I know people like this. My divorce, my dadgum house payment was two months behind. So. Oh, no. Yeah. It took me two months to get my stuff straight. That's why men should not get married until they're 35, over 30, 35 or higher. <laughs> Women should not get married until they're 25 to 30. I feel you. I'm serious. <laughs> All right. I was like high school sweethearts or something. Uh -uh. I don't believe in it. I got it. I got married when I was. I do. I guess I'm still with him now. 24. And I shouldn't have got married when I was 24. No, you should. I'm 24 now, Lord. <laughs> Yeah, but you're you're a female. That's I'm different. I'm feeling the now about me being 24. No, that's that's different. No, female at 24 is a whole lot different. Than male at 24. A male at 24 is still. What about 26? Stupid. They still stupid at 26. Yes. <laughs> Men are stupid until they're 20, 35 to 40 years old, but you still got 40 year olds to cruise the mall. Yeah. Zach, I'm sorry. Don't be that. You're my own kind, but you know I'm yeah. I'm I'm being serious. They are. I mean, you still got guys. Putting stuff on their cars at 28, 30 years old. Or rapping. You got those. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Or putting $10,000 worth of video equipment in a $1,000 car that's blowing blue smoke because, because the engine shot. Or $10,000 rims on a car that ain't worth $1,000. Okay. Here we go. Let's Let's go ahead and... Here we go, the mortgages. If that didn't depress you enough. Yeah, because I'm looking at that house. Show me this. Well, here's, here's your, there's, that's your formula. There you go. Great Bank offers a $100,000 30-year 5% fixed rate loan with closing cost of $500 per. Okay, I don't want to do that. No. I don't want to do the closing point. Forget that. Are we going to get questions like that on the test? No, the, point, the questions I'm going to give you are going to be different. What about in real life? That's. Hold on. 
Okay, I'll just write it up. All right, we got a we got a house payment, or you gonna buy a house, and the house is one hundred twenty-five thousand dollars. And you put ten thousand down. So that means that the loan that you're going to ask for is going to be what? One hundred fifteen thousand dollars. <throat> the bank is going to finance it at R is equal to six percent. Now that's a little bit high, but you're a first-time buyer. Okay, N is equal to 12, and T is equal to 30 years. There you go. That's the kind of problem I'm going to give you. Come on, Mariners, get it done. Zach don't care. He ain't going to live in a house. He's going to live in a box in a ditch I'm somewhere. Just, he's like, I'm just chilling. He's going to live in a van down by the river. Yeah. Hey, you know what? When I have that big payment and he doesn't, he'll be the one laughing, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm enjoying my van. You're going you to be in, entertaining payment. people in the van. <laughs> That's so y'all y'all know the skit I'm talking about. Van down by the river. Yeah. That is a funny... I don't know why why the funny ones have to kill themselves. That's what depressed me about what's the what's the guy that played uh the blonde headed guy that was such a good good actor. Uh chubby guy, uh wasn't a comedian, but he was a good actor. Oh, he played on the last Hunger Games. He was the the guy that was Second to Mr. Snow, or whatever his name was, he was the. Y'all don't know who I'm talking about? No. I have no idea. I don't know like, what his name I was is. Say, um, but killed I, himself. I know what you're talking about. I can see, I know like what his face looks like. Yeah, he was. Uh, he had white hair. Or he always gray. played like an evil guy in some of his earlier movies. He was on Twister, too. Remember? He was the guy yes, with the crazy I love, I love that guy. What is his name? Yeah. I don't know, but I love him. <laughs> so, he is such a good exactly actor. What you're about. Yeah. Robin Williams was a great actor. I didn't think he was funny as a comedian, but he was a great actor. Mm -hmm. I loved true. him in Good Will Hunting. Now, the question I'm going to give you will ask this, and then it's going to ask you, what about the same house at T is equal to 15 years?
All right, somebody tell me what you got whenever you get it. Be one hundred and fifteen thousand times point zero six over twelve over one minus one over one plus point zero six over twelve. About six eighty nine for you. Sounds about right to the NT power. 30 times, 3 times, that's 360, 360 payments. And what did you get, Ms. Smith? I got $689. $689.48. Six $30. Yep, now do it at 15 And then figure how much did you actually pay for the loan. Not doing something right. Which one? The first one? The, 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 no, the bottom. Yeah, the first one, but at the okay. bottom. Okay. So, 0.06 over 12 times 360. Divided by 12. Oh. Enter. Plus 1. Raised to the what? 30th power, right? Raised to the 360. Oh, that's why I'm missing up there right there. <laughs> I didn't times them thing. I got 974.44. That's almost a thousand dollars a month. One divided by. Paid it though. People paid it in rent. Yeah. A lot of people paid it in rent. One minus. Divided. All right. Denominator. I got point eight three three nine. Stow. Alpha. D. Okay, the top. You got what for the bottom? Point eight three three nine five eight zero seven two. Okay. In the top, I got five seventy five. Okay, well, let's check that. Point zero six times twelve. Oh shoot. Get it. Point zero six divided by twelve. That's how many? Monthly payments times one hundred and fifteen thousand. Mm -mm. How much you gonna pay a month? Uh, nine. Five seventy five divided by alpha D. And that's what ten thousand dollars a Six eighty nine. Now let's go ahead and multiply that by three hundred and sixty payments. So you paid $248,000 for that $125,000 house. Mm. Oh, that hurts, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, at 30 years, you paid, what did we say, $248,000. $213.92 for 
for a $125,000 house. Is rich people in debt? Like rich, rich people. Oh, God. I know somebody right now that's a million dollars in debt. Oh, man. How are you rich? I mean, like football players. How you be rich? They're living above the means is what they're doing. Doing. Mm -hmm. They giving them credit and they taking it back. Million dollars. You can have this house with this kind of payment. Yes. Not me. I'm, I can't even swim. Yeah. All right. At 15. What did y'all get at 15? <laughs> Say. Anybody, anybody do that one? I did. I got 97044. So basically, the richer you are, the more credit you get. 970.44. I'll tell you a story about being rich. People that are really rich. You never know it. I'm rich. Because they don't flaunt it. Exactly. Yeah. I know a man that lives in Liberty and he owns he owns about half of the half of one side of the road and and he owns the other side of the road and if you see him you think he was retarded. <laughs> he right he walks around in overalls what and happy with me. Hmm? Kind of Just a regular brick house. He probably drive a ninety Honda. But no, he drives a pickup truck. That's what they said about Sam Walt on a Walmart. He's mm -hmm. right around the pickup truck. My uncle, my uncle, if you any if you're familiar with Highway 24 and 85, yeah, you know that dairy farm on the right, right? Is you going to Townville? That's my uncle's. People used to think he was. Not right, because he'd walk around. and But he's got I-85 going through his farm, that clover leaf right there. And then he's got about 21 miles of lakefront property that he grows corn on. Mm. Whenever he wants to buy a tractor, he goes and sells a lot. But you'd never know it looking at him. All right, so at... So multiply that by 15 times 12 is... Okay, so at 15 years, you paid what? 174, 678. 174, 678, and what's the change? 36. That's almost a $2,000 payment. You said a thousand, honey. For a $125,000 house. So it's lesser, but your payment's is high. Nothing is what? Nothing is free. Jesus is free. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to pay for Jesus. He just flipped it on you. <laughs> you don't have to pay for Jesus. You don't have to pay for, you got to pay for your house. <laughs> Nothing's free. What does that mean? That means that you can pay now or you can what? Pay later. Pay later. You're going to pay either way you go. Here, for $30, for 30, 30 years, sorry, you pay later. Here, you pay now. Okay? Either way, they're going to get you. Mm -hmm. What's it more sensible to do? It's more sensible to pay up front. To pay up front because you're not paying the interest. Okay? But what do they want you to do? You know, we, reality, Meredith, we, we love <laughs> you. You're my friend. I want to get that payment down. I want to get that payment down to $500 because I love you. In, I ain't about you know, in reality, <laughs> in national reality, what can you do? Yeah, who's gonna pay in a full? Well, well, what people usually do is they usually cut out everything else. Now, is this gonna put taxes and interest? But that's why. That's why. Okay. That's why. And I'm not I'm not trying to be daddy here. High school. What should we do then? College, community college, whatever you want to call, whichever one you're going to. And then what? Career. That's, how, that's, America that's the way it's supposed to be done. But we're trying, we're trying, and I'm going to put the community college, and also that's apprenticeships, that's anything that you want to call getting an education okay this is research this is like clemson anderson university this is like tri-county technical college or any community college or whatever that's the way it's supposed to be 
But what we're trying to do as a society is we're trying to do away with this and go out here at Mickey D's and trying to do this at $15 an hour. You can't do it. What McDonald's work did? You can't do it. That's what Mountain Japan did. Yeah. Okay. Right here is supposed to be where? There's Mickey D's right there. Or Zaxby's. Or Zaxby's or whatever. All right? You can't... And, and, and right in here, you get Bosch. I don't know how to spell Bosch. You get Amed. I work at Amed, so I'm doing it kind of semi-right. Okay. Uh, uh, name something else. that. Oh. Uh, you get an accounting firm. You, you start your own accounting firm. Okay. That's, that's the career. That's right here. And then, dang old married. Don't do it. It's a trap. Yep. <laughs> Children. Dang old. Okay. Whichever one you want to do. Okay. That's the way you're supposed to do it. You can put a stripper on the one between. <laughs> that. Now that's bombing. Right. That, you got it, but they got to pay for it, though. They got to pay for it. Why they got to pay for it? Tell me the, tell me the damn files are stripping. <laughs> they getting that money. They making that money. Oh. But what do they have to put up with? Disrespect. Yeah. A lot of disrespect. I mean, I, I'm all for them, but bless their heart, they have to. I wouldn't want to <laughs> Money. I mean, honestly, they're making their money, and I'm glad they're making their money because the idiots that go and watch them are idiots. I know. Like you, you, you stay twenty dollars in there just, just to look. Like you crazy? You know? Exactly. <laughs> I agree with you hundred percent. You could just, I mean, when I was, when I was, uh, crazy. when I was at, at Camp Lejeune, I got hauled off to one of those things at Camp Lejeune by my buddy, and he still laughs about it. Sure, today. by your buddy. Yeah. No, no, he, he'll tell you. He'll tell you I didn't want to go. And come on, man, it's our first one. The first time we go. Okay. How much money? I sat there and the whole time I watched. And these guys, these guys were being played. Yeah. These guys were being played. Now remember, I'm a, I'm an analytical person. You a mathematical? I'm going into this place and I'm going. Oh my God, these these guys are idiots. <laughs> I drank a lot, but I didn't I didn't. You didn't tip a lot. I tipped the waitress, yeah. <laughs> I didn't go up there. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> That's uh, there. No, I ain't got no use. Well, for you that. know what? The fact that people are stupid enough to fall for that, I mean, it's messed up. Yeah, but at the same them, time, I hope they take, take your all money. The money. Yeah. Yeah. Idiots. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's true. But anyway, nothing is free. So this is the last class, and I'm, I'm, I'm what do y'all think? I like oh, it a lot. Coming, I was coming to go. She had to drop a math class. She was in private school thesis, and she had to drop it because she wasn't doing the fitting, like stuff went on the test that she was, like. I don't know who she had. Should have asked. That's why I texted you that day and asked you who you teach it because she had to drop and it's gonna mess her whole GP shebang up. Oh. No, it ain't her. G she dropped uh, it in time. Oh, uh, but I'm it's not just teaching like her time. Is oh, I'm trying to get a class, but I'm not teaching it. She went to Piedmont Tech actually. She started aggravated with her. Um, hold on, I'll tell you. I thought about going to Piedmont for the nursing because they tripping real bad. Let's see, where's I started my... off at Piedmont though. You do. I just got tired of the driving. Though. I got it somewhere in here. Hold I on. I haven't been doing it for two years. Oh. Where did I put it? But at first it went it went bad out. I made more friends there. Are we like, not coming off the of advisors? So much better. Y'all don't pay, pay attention to anything. <laughs> When's the last day of class? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> hey, I thought it said the 26th, but I could be crazy. There we go. There it is. So when we come Oh, sh We don't. Here it is. So what I need to do in life? There it is. Take this test when? No, I'm not teaching a 120. I'm teaching 103. No, I'm not. Yeah, I'm teaching a 103. She got to take 103. She went to be my age. She made a schedule. Oh. Uh, it's a good my private statistics teacher over there too. That's who taught me prop stats. 
Who is it? She already raised in her. McCollin. Uh, I only know two or three teachers over there. She got like spiky hair. Do you know anybody in the nursing program over there? Yeah, I know several people. Why? Because I need to get in there. Oh, that's like getting into a, getting out of a jail. Getting into that. I just need to transition. Hey, man. I'm ready LP I just need to go. What's to what's 109? 109 is a business type. Well, I'll show you what it is. Because I might, I might actually take oh. that, but I'm not sure. No, I graduated. I just business. need another math class, and I just don't know what I need I to take. Business. Did they give you a hard time getting me? I didn't get it. Yeah, they they tell you to take math 109. I'm I'm gonna try. And then to take math 130. But the way that woman was talking. And then math 140. I was left and right and. This is business calculus one. And this is business calculus two. Now I'm showing you this for a reason. That's what they say. You can also do. This route, which is the engineering route, math 111, math 140, and math 240, 241, and so on. Okay, this is college algebra. This is college trig. Are y'all listening to me? No. I can't even see you writing. Calc. Oh, sorry. Probably why we ain't listening. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I suck. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. Oh, no. We're not doing nothing. <laughs> and then, oh, just wait a minute. You don't know. <laughs> oh. Calc 2 and Calc 3, but that's the engineering and science majors. Now, the reason I'm showing you both routes is because this Math 109 is the watered-down version of, I'm sorry, the sister to this math 110, okay? Oh. College algebra, all right? So the algebra two slash three. These these two right here, algebra two slash three. So I don't think that you'll know the answer to this, but I'm gonna ask anyway. So um, I only need, after this, I need one more math course to get my associates in science. And, um, and my advisor was very kind of, Things basic courses to choose from, and I'm what wondering. What is that noise? I, I don't know, but it's weird. <laughs> but um, can I substitute the 110 for the 109, and yeah. and take that next semester? Yeah, and I'm teaching I'm, it. I might do that. I'm teaching it online. If you want to take my online, or I'm teaching the 103. I meant the one. Okay, I'm not teaching the 120. Uh, or you can take the 109. I'm teaching 110 and 109. Now, the 109 I'm teaching in the polycom, just like this one. I'll be right back here, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the Ooh. 110, you can just use my videos on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Okay. I heard they program. So, okay. either way. You'll love it. Now, let me show you. Let me write quick. There's my, there's my classes, so you might want to write them down. There's the 110 right there. <laughs> And the 103, the 109 is right here. Yours is easily campus. Yours is that one right there. Yay. So you might want to write them down, the CRN numbers. Mm -hmm. Who else got questions? Now, what I'm going to do today after class is I'm going to load the test, your last test, and the final exam. Today? Oh, two? Today? Mm -hmm. Oh. And they're all going to be due the last day of exams, which I think is that Friday, the 28th. So if I think everything is due on the 28th, or will be when I get finished. So therefore, you can go back and take any tests, do any homework, anything. Everything's going to be due on the 28th. So if you go, need to go back and do some homework, if you need to go back and redo a test, then you can do that. You take the highest things, right? I know this is probably a stupid question. Yeah, it is. <laughs> sure. oh, we're not, so we're not going on that. You're not what? We're going to test today. No, we're not going to have it. No. You want me to try to squeeze it in in the next five minutes? No. <laughs> Actually, we were supposed to get the income tax. That would really piss you off. But we're it's not okay. going to make it. Yeah. Why? Because I pay out a lot more than they're giving me back, right? Yeah, well, yeah. But they gotta keep those people. Gotta keep those people that work for the government. Gotta keep them 
programs going and keep all them people employed. So that's why they have to take What's all the going to be on? A little bit of everything. One, whatever tests we've had, unit one, unit two, unit three, you need to go through how you do that. Go through and hit your grade book and hit review beside the test. Over to the right, there's a thing that says review. Hit it and then you can print it out. Okay. Is it going to be like the same questions? Same numbers? type questions, yep. I'm not, I don't do no low punches. I don't do no trick questions. Anybody got any other questions? How many questions we on the exam? Usually 30 or 33, something like that, maybe 40. I don't get, usually get 40. 40. Don't go to 40, please. Sometimes I just do 20. Do 20. Okay. Please. So we already got a test before. That's like 40 questions right now. Zach, are you in my 140 next semester? You got it. Um, uh, uh, no. When are you going to sign up? I thought you were going to sign up for it. When I should I take um, to do semester next semester? I figured uh, I was going to actually in math 140. I was in math 130. I didn't realize. I was thinking wrong. Uh, I was okay. actually in math 130. Well, you can do that. Have you had a trick? Uh, in high school. Well, the reason I tell the reason I tell people to do this, the reason I tell people to do this route here over here is because there's only one class different than yeah. this and this will transfer to business but this won't transfer if you change your major mm -hmm. so that's why I tell students that if there's any doubt as far as your major go this route because the business and marketing world and everybody everybody they're in a college around that won't take these classes those are the these are the classes that will transfer anywhere. Yes, yeah, on your degree you, works too, which math will. Huh? On degree works tab. Mm hmm It'll show what math you need. Mm hmm mm -hmm. You um But if you take let's say you take up to Calc one and you want to transfer to the University of Wisasa or wherever. <laughs> they'll take that calculus, but they're not gonna take that math one thirty unless you're a business major at that college. But they'll take any of these because these are kind of like the the main courses in any college. It is. All right. Who else has got questions? So we don't come Wednesday, or am I crazy? I don't know. Today is the last day of class, Meredith. Okay. I did not know that. Hannah, you don't have any questions? No. Okay. All right. Well, there's you. You know that this class, you have found that. Are y'all listening? I am. I'm listening. <laughs> they ain't even listening. You talking about business and math and nothing's free. But Jesus. Okay. <laughs> Two. <laughs> pay now. Or pay later. Or pay later. Now later. And three, we suck. <laughs> no. Three <laughs> Herbert so. is no. My name is not Herbert. <laughs> I hate that name. I hate that name. A bunch of people must call you that. <laughs> Herbert must. Men should not get married till they're at least forty, and women should not get married until they're twenty-five. And five. Are you four. saying that all forty-year-old men should marry twenty-five-year-old women? No, no. no. We need a sugar daddy. <laughs> no. I'm telling women that they should wait a while. Okay, but you saying we shouldn't marry no man that's at least 40. Man. No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying you need to use your own judgment. But men don't get unstupid until 35 to 40. And that's true. So the youngest man I can marry I is 40. My, my Come boy. on, no, man. No, 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 no. No, I'm saying to you, Meredith, that the equal to you when you're 25 or 26 is a 35-year-old man. I, I'm 27. I'm old. That's well, 20 is still 35 to 40. <laughs> This 35 is not too far. Do you all, okay. What about 31? Just take my advice and see what happens. Don't take my advice, and I'll see you after you divorced. What about 35? Oh, because I know. You don't be have out, to tell me. You're going to be I out. It's a trap. Old Meredith, I know. She's going to be out working 40, 50 hours a week, bringing home a paycheck, and her husband is going to be doing all kinds of stupid stuff, like buying <laughs> like, like buying. Fifteen thousand dollar ATVs and all this other stuff and <laughs> get a water say, cut off. Yeah, pump this. I'm getting tired of this. You don't have to tell me. I know it's a trap. 
Oh, okay. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> All right, who else got questions? Unless y'all got questions, y'all can get out of here. Boogies. And I've enjoyed it. I've thoroughly enjoyed this class. Me too. About this nursing program. About this what? About the nursing know. program. Bye, Hannah. Hannah, you talk too much. Yeah, I'm talking enough. <laughs> I made it when I was there, though.